The Fox 13 10 o'clock news starts now. Good evening, everybody, and welcome. I'm Kelly Ring. And I'm John Wilson. Thank you for being with us. All right, first on Fox tonight, a family in Dover is safe, all thanks to their pet poodle. Poodle! This is Buddy. His name couldn't be more fitting tonight. Fox 13 Steph D.P. Trantonio is here to tell us how Buddy saved the day after the family home caught fire. All right, what did he do? Hey there, John. It was Buddy and one of the McIntosh's family's feisty roosters. You know, they don't only sound at dawn. Between the crowing and Buddy's incessant barking, the family got out just before the roof of their house disintegrated over their heads. He's what woke everybody up. Meet Buddy, a sleepy-eyed poodle who's pooped from an exhausting ordeal. He's a sleeper, I'll tell you. Buddy saved Brian McIntosh and his family from a fiery death. <laughs> and a rooster that liked to sleep near the warmth of a chest freezer on the family's back porch. Right here, and that's where the rooster stayed, right beside this. And the, the fan that caught on fire was sitting right here. McIntosh believes it was a fan they'd left plugged in that caught fire. And when it didn't spin, we didn't unplug it. I think the rooster started crowing, and I think the dog started barking at the rooster. Brian's mom heard Buddy first. The dog started going crazy. My dad said he was barking louder than he ever did. I was already asleep. And then I heard her, hey, Brian, get up, hurry. He scrambled to the back of the house. Flames had already melted the roof here. We um, tried putting it out with the hose because it didn't get, it wasn't that big, but then it got bigger. But it was just two minutes later and it was all engulfed. Tearing through the roof and raging right over their heads. Through no small feat of his own in the heat of the moment, Parker McIntosh yanked this queen size bed out the back door with his grandfather still in it. We opened the doors and I just pulled the bed out. I was like, can and got him out on the porch. All six got out okay. I wake him up, I drug him out the house with me. Tons of rubble to carry out, and out the back door, long piles of what used to be. You don't think it's ever going to be you, and then it's your turn, so. The property is paid for, but they no longer had homeowner's insurance. Things got tough and try to get by with, just like everybody else is doing in the world right now. Sure. Trying to survive, so. And in the middle of it all, a moment of clarity. We'll be fine. We'll figure something out. That prayers for help will be answered. I'm not sad about it at all because we're all living. And tonight, a Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputy is keeping an eye on the property. The family has boarded up all the windows and they've taken away anything left that was of value to them. The Red Cross is helping them out with a place to stay, and they tell me they will find a way to start over. They're just happy that everyone got out okay tonight, Kelly and John. Yeah, good for Buddy here and for the family here. Another dog in another house fire.